Hello, people. I will show you how to fix high CPU usage because I was able to reduce overload depending what type of process is. When you go to when you start task manager because I use process hacker, <coughs> we got processes and uh, services and details there is option depending which process is consuming CPU resources so you can check here and I will show you what to do next OBS studio is using quite a lot so we can decrease this by right clicking mouse set affinity I change to I will change to couple threads not all of them so performance will be vector you can do the same when you go to details there is process c v host dot exe this so I set affinity I did that before and I assigned it to one of CPU oh this has been assigned make sure you do the same with antivirus if you check if your CPU is still working very high, you can also decrease usage when a service of antivirus as at internet security because antivirus can use uh, quite a lot of your CPU, so you do the same. Make sure you take ownership of your uh, antivirus. Okay, I will use maybe different core, different frag. As you can see, it, dro it dropped it down a little bit because when your processor is being used quite a lot, you cannot really do stuff on the internet. Your browser works quite slow. You cannot open up Windows as fast as you could do before high usage is not that high but you can also check because I am running open rogue custom software that is why but I reduce the uh, threads also if you run if you are running Windows Defender you can turn off Windows Defender because high usage of your hard drive will take place as well. I just wanted to show you because more common is high uh, usage of hard drive. Uh, you go to local computer policy, administrative templates, Windows components, Windows Defender. If this causes your computer to work uh, to full speed, I mean high usage of hard drive and CPU, you can turn this off by clicking enable. In Windows 10 you can also disable automatic updates. By, by selecting this. Now I will have to show you task scheduler. Because uh, Windows 10 users they have to disable 
Microsoft compatibility and appraisal in application experience. This is causing problems. Now different things. Background intelligent transfer service has, has to be disabled and these settings must apply. Now <coughs> Connected users and telemetry you have to disable, but I don't have this in Windows 8.1. Windows, uh, wait a minute, SuperFX I disabled as well. Windows Search I disabled, Windows Update I disabled. Make sure you you make sure you will turn off telemetry. Time broker um, is disabled. Uh, uh, last thing I forgot to mention. Uh, to disable uh, one of the service which causes high memory usage. Hockey local machine system uh, current control set services This one when you set up startup type to four service will not launch automatically and the service I disabled Uh, I dis I turned off notifications. Uh, another thing is to go with SATA drivers. I, I I have to tell you about this because it is important. Do not use standard SATA controller driver. You have to use a AMD SATA controller. Uh, the driver which I have because I turned off. Uh, driver signing so i was able to install version from 2015 but you can use uh, sata drivers for windows 7. do not use a standard host controller driver i will show you in a minute do not use this because this will slow down your hard drive i was using sata axi controller by default but this version was causing my hard drive like it was behaving like choking. Uh, wasn't running very smooth because of this SATA driver. Also you have to fix compatibility issue with this SATA driver. Uh, details. Device instance path. This number we have to check. I will show you. Haki, Haki local machine system current control set and new uh, where where I should go. Okay, PCI look for number three four three nine one then you have to go further device parameters interrupt interrupt management this one you have to check if it's number zero this means your SATA driver will work okay because it is compatible if number one is here that means your SATA driver is not compatible with Microsoft Windows so, so you have to turn wa value 1 <laughs>